Hello everyone. In continuation to topic of limit of function of two variable, in my current topic, I would like to talk about or those question where limit does not exist. And for that, you have to understand the strategy because there are various uh, techniques which can be applicable for that case. So before proceeding ahead, let us uh, recall one important point that to discuss when limit does not exist. It is enough to show that by uh, showing different path, if you are getting not same value, if you are getting different value, it says that limit does not exist. Point is to be taken care that whatever path you will select, ensure that it is passing through the point where you are discussing limit. So in this first question, I want to show that uh, limit of x square minus y square upon x square plus y square does not exist at origin. So at origin, so for that, let's see, let's, let's see that this is the point origin and I want to find out what happened at that point, this function, how it behaves when you are getting closure to the point, whether limit exists or not, is x axis, it is y axis. So what I am going to do is I'm going to pick my first case here, which is saying that you can try x0, y0, different path. And uh, for that, I am taking first path is along x-axis. So along x-axis, what is 0? y is 0. y is 0. So along x-axis, y is 0. So when y is 0, so I'm, I, I point is getting closer to 0, 0. Means more tending towards origin through this axis. So here x is getting closure to 0. So I will say x tending towards 0 by fixing y is 0 along that axis. This expression will reduce to x square upon x square. And x square upon x square, if you simplify before plugging into the value, you get a 1. And limit of 1 is 1. Just a minute. Because constant limit. In this manner, let us see what happens when I take another path. Because 1 is not enough. So, I will take same axis, which is y, uh, y axis. So, y axis may what you have. On y axis, you have a x is equals to 0. So, the equation of y axis is written as x is equals to 0. So, when you put x is equals to 0 here in this question, let's see what happened. When you put x is equals to 0, you are having a limit. Because in this case, you are, your points are moving from this direction. So, here y is getting 0. y tending towards 0 and uh, fixing x is equals to 0 the expression will reduce to minus y square upon y square so before applying y equals to 0 expression can be simplified and you left with minus 1 and limit of minus 1 which is constant is minus 1 so it is clear easily you can uh, see that two different paths are giving me different answer one is not equals to minus 1 you can say limit does not exist so limit does not exist at which point at origin so this question is done by this case now let's take one more example just a minute i would like to change the question here here the question is x into y x into y show that limit does not exist so uh, what I have decided in this question, I'm going to apply the same because I want to make you people clear that this is not every time working. You cannot apply all the time that x0, y0 and if you get the same answer, you declare limit exists. No, that is not a procedure. What you can do is you uh, let's say let me let me take the same same uh, strategy when I say along x is equals to 0 along x is equals to 0 you get uh, 0 into y is 0 denominator is you are getting uh, y square and you have a limit y tending it, it, I'm taking y axis so 0 upon anything is 0 so your expression will be limit y tending towards 0 and 0 is a constant so limit of a constant is 0 now that is the one I have taken Ag again if I want to find out another axis which is x axis so x axis means y equals to 0 so when y equals to 0 this expression will be x into 0 become numerator become 0 denominator I have x square 
and then you are saying x tending towards 0. Now if you solve this expression before plugging into the limit value x0 I get a 1 0 value and the limit of 0 is 0. Now what I want to convey through the, this uh, step that for example if you are moving ahead with these two uh, lines like you are moving ahead either from this side or this side and you cannot declare that limit exists because there are number of other part I know I don't know whether they are getting the same answer zero or not so you cannot declare immediately that limit exists so what can be done you have to select some different path so I, I, am, I am preferring here a line straight line here y is equals to x you can take that y is equals to x along y is equals to x when x y tending towards 0 0 x will tend towards 0 as this so this so here you are uh, fixing any one of them in terms of other so the equation will this expression will reduce to this expression will reduce to you are putting y equals to x and x tending to 0 so this will be y in x into x is x square this is x square y is x so it is x square and then you are saying x tending towards 0 after simplification you are getting x square upon 2 of x square x tending towards 0 now see x square x square get cancel and you get limit of x tending towards 0 half and limit of half is half now I think things are clear to you that uh, maybe these two paths are giving me same answer but this path which is a line straight line passing through the origin is not giving the same answer so this is different so you what, what you can conclude it's not same you can say limit does not exist means if you want to show you have to ensure with the help of the path that does not exist at the point origin this function uh, I want to take pick the same question because this is not the only way it's not like you one by one every time you have to select the x axis y axis then proceed ahead no this is not the only case what you can do this is one way other way is if I will take the same question and let's try something else that which is enough to solve the question in one step I want to I want to pick the same question which is limit this was x y and you are having x square plus y square and you are saying x tending towards 0 y tending towards 0 that was the point now I am not going along that x equals to 0 y is equals to 0 I want to target one general uh, expression so I can take along because uh, remember when you have a rational expression you can make degree of numerator and denominator same if possible what how, is square square degrees in the denominator numerator if you put y is equals to x it will be square but I don't want one uh, uh, particular line I would prefer here a family of line y is equals to mx in general when you say in general your answer will be in general and from that general answer we can conclude something so I am putting along y is equals to mx as x y tending towards 0 so x will also tends towards 0 so I am I'm taking not y is, mx means if m is 1 this is if m is uh, greater value we have this so all the line of y is equals to mx are straight lines so I am I am targeting all in one step y is equals to mx they are all getting towards the origin so how this question will reduce when you are putting y is equals to mx this will be x into mx this will be x square plus m square x square x tending towards 0 and here x square will get cancel x square because that is a one motive whenever you are doing a question try to apply that now you have to understand the strategy what I want to convey that you have to select that relation between y and x or that curve which is passing through origin which make if possible sometimes it is not possible but if possible you can make the degree equal make it target that particular path and then you will find out the answer very clear in front of you so here x square x square will get cancelled I am getting m I am getting 1 upon m square and you know m is a is a slope of the line and it is different different line has a different m value so but it's constant 
so you are getting 1 upon uh, m upon 1 plus m square so what you can conclude do you say it is unique no why because i i target a general expression for the line and for that i come up with the answer as m so whenever you do this kind of uh, substitution and you get an answer in m you can declare that limit does not exist why because since limit depends upon which depends on m and you can say for different value of m we get different limit so different value of m we get a different limit so you can say not unique not unique means you can say limit does not exist and at which point at origin now in this example where you uh, want to show that limit does not exist this is also the case but how we can proceed ahead now if you start going ahead by these y 0 x 0 you will you will get a 0 answer that's clear let's see uh, this line which I have written I want you should try to understand that while using this case of substitution of y in something in x or x something in y if you take care of this last line try to substitute that relation if possible which make degree of numerator denominator same if you target that point and that too in the general you can solve your question in a one step i mean in, in, in one step so i'll do the same activity what i'm observing here x is x cube and there is a y so first when you see the question of this mismatch degree try to make them equal so if you make them equal and the numerator will also be equal so at least something can be added or you can figure out some expression so what i have decided that when it is x to the power 6 and this is y square so i am going to take a, a, a path here along 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 y equals to what should i put that it becomes 6 uh, it should be cube so i am not taking a particular line i am taking a general curve m x cube that will be better because if you put your uh, curve in m dependent uh, you are getting some kind of conclusion here. so again x y tending towards 0 means x tending towards 0 this will imply x tending towards 0 so your equation will be here x cube here you are having m times x cube here you are having x 6 here you are having m square x 6 and you are having x standing towards 0 so you must be observing x 6 is coming out to be the common m and here x 6 coming out to be the common i get 1 upon m square limit x standing towards 0 x square x square because making equal sometimes your question can be targeted in one step otherwise you start trying one by one x 0 y 0 you don't know how you will get an answer quickly so that is a quicker way to do the question so after getting that i get m upon 1 plus m square i have seen that this uh, curve is giving me this you, you have to target that curve which can give you answer quickly so i have target that y is equals to mx cube so it is uh, dependence upon what m upon 1 plus m square so you can say limit depends upon m limit depends on different value of m so not unique so what you say limit does not exist so at which point at zero so in this way we can find out so there are a number of questions student i would suggest you try to solve some problem of your exercise